I once had the pleasure, the joy, and the fun of living among um, people of Italian extraction in Niagara Falls. These two poems. E Bruto. Dressed in black, the Sicilian widow asks me, E Bruto? Ha battuto? Is he ugly? Did he beat you? Why was I divorced? She offers another plate of pasta, another glass of watered wine, more bread, more cheese. Asks the neighbor to tell me in English about her sainted husband. The neighbor adds covertly how Jessapina's husband had married her for revenge. As soon as he got out of jail after four years, for stealing a goat. The 12 year old had seen him and told. Wed for a week, he threw an ax that buried itself in her back. Throughout the telling, Giuseppina fingers the horn on her thick gold chain. The next day sends her 20 year old son to court me, his simple minded smile, his one white rose. was always a little bit of excitement happening. <clears throat> Sicilian up a tree. Dawn, or just after. A man is two-thirds up the huge shade pine next door, chopping. My landlord says, it's only Vito, just out of prison for murder. Vito handles the acts well. <laughs> The top third falls hard. Another dawn, the landlord comes upstairs in disguise. False mustache, pillow under a big shirt, going into hiding. Be careful, he whispers. Vito went to kill rabbits last night. Killed his wife's lover too. Said he might as well kill anyone in Niagara Falls who was friends with his wife. But if they catch him, come to Tony's baptism on Sunday. We've got a baby-sized white satin tuxedo. We gotta go quick. Teresa's got Tony all packed up. Vito knows about explosives too. We don't want to lose the house. If he comes, tell him we're gone. Thank <laughs> you.